Here's the good news. We're heading into flu season more prepared than we have ever been. We're already washing our hands and we're coughing and sneezing into our arms like champs. We're wearing masks and staying away from others. And just like COVID-19, influenza hates when we do those things. But their similarities are also going to cause some complications this year. A flu and COVID-19 are both respiratory illnesses caused by different viruses, but with very similar symptoms. So similar, in fact, you may not be able to tell the difference without a test. The symptoms they both have, fever and chills, cough, shortness of breath or difficulty breathing, fatigue, sore throat, runny or stuffy nose, body aches, headache, and some people, more commonly children, have vomiting and diarrhea. Some of the differences here. A person with COVID-19 usually takes longer to develop those symptoms than if they had the flu. Flu symptoms arrive one to four days after infection, and with COVID, it's usually five to 14 days. Those with flu are the most contagious during the initial three to four days of the illness, but remain contagious for about seven days. And the best guess right now with COVID is that people can spread the virus for at least 10 days after symptoms appear. Both COVID-19 and flu can spread from person to person, mainly by those droplets made when sick people cough, sneeze, or talk. Both can spread by touching things that have the virus on it and then touching your face. And also with both, it is possible to spread the virus even if you have no symptoms. Seniors, pregnant women, and those with underlying medical conditions have a higher risk for severe illness from both flu and COVID, and both diseases can lead to pneumonia and respiratory failure. Now, most people get the flu, recover in a few days to less than two weeks. As we've seen, those with COVID can take a lot longer, months even. And since this is a new virus, the mortality rate of COVID-19 really still is a moving target. The only thing that is largely agreed upon is that its death rate is substantially higher than most strains of the flu. And yes, the CDC says you can have the flu and COVID-19 at the same time. So as you can see, it's gonna be a complicated flu season. So let's end with something hopeful. The urgency of this pandemic has fast-tracked work all over the world on a COVID-19 vaccine. And it was the urgency of the Spanish flu pandemic a century ago that got work going on the flu vaccine we have today, which is credited with saving untold numbers of lives. And the flu vaccine turned 75 this year, by the way. So get that flu shot, and with some luck, maybe this time next year, we'll be able to get a COVID-19 shot along with it.